if you are rooted with the Magisk app, and TWRP as custom recovery. So in this video, I will show you how you can do an OTA update, in your rooted device, without losing root or your custom recovery. First let me show you my current software version, which is 14.0.5.0. And there is an OTA update for 14.0.6.0. Make sure to follow the steps in same order as shown in the video. So the very first step is to restore the boot image. To do that, launch Magisk Manager app, and tap on Uninstall Magisk. And then you have to select Restore Images. This will not completely uninstall Magisk. So after OTA update, the root will not be lost, and hence will be restored. Once the restoration finishes, next it's time to download the OTA update. But before that, enable Developer Mode. To do that, repeatedly tap 7 times on the build number, till you get a pop-up saying you are a developer. Now just navigate to the developer mode, and disable the option automatic system updates. This will prevent the device to apply the OTA updates automatically, when the device restarts. Now go back to about phone section, and start downloading the OTA update. I will mention once again, to follow the steps in same order as shown on the video, otherwise you might end up in boot loop. Once the OTA update is downloaded, please do no reboot the device at any cost. This step is only for those devices, having A and B partition slots and is rooted with TWRP, but most of the newer devices has it. So just launch browser and search for TWRP retention AV GitHub. On the search results page, click on the first link, as shown on the video. The name of the developers is Osmosis. What this module does is it keeps the TWRP recovery on both A and B slots, just click on the support hyperlink which will redirect to XDA page like this. Scroll down until you find TWRP ab retention module script, click on that, as shown on the video. If you are still with me, please subscribe and like this video. On the next page, scroll down and tap on this file to download the zip file. We will be flashing this zip file from Magisk Manager. So back to the video, once the flashable zip file is downloaded, it's time to flash this Magisk module. To do that, Launch Magisk Manager app. Navigate to Module section and tap on Install from Storage. Look for that zip file downloaded earlier, and now just flash the TWRP retention zip file. But please do not reboot the device at all. Just go back to the Magisk home page. Now it's time to restore the boot images and reinstall the Magisk, which was uninstalled in first step. Just tap on Install, and for the method, choose Install to inactive slots. And proceed to installation. Once the process is complete, just reboot the device to apply the changes. Once the device boots up, you can see the notification, which says that the device is successfully updated. As you can see, the device is successfully updated to latest software version. Now when I launch the Magisk app, you can see the mobile is still rooted with the latest Magisk. Also the custom recovery will not be removed or lost in the process. Now if you want to hide root and bypass safety net, watch the next video.